On behalf of the Independence Bowl, uh, Florida State University, we're happy to be here. And uh, guys, we've had a great week um, of practice. Well, last couple of days of practice, and I tell you what, the hospitality here, the people, has been great. I've been to a lot of bowls. The, the people here, has, they, they've been great. Questions? Uh, Coach Higgins, if I'm not mistaken, uh, you were on that Florida State team in 89 that played Southern Miss? Yeah, I played on it, but we're talking about it now. We're talking about the, the game tomorrow. I'm not concerned about that game. Next. Coach Higgins, uh, this, is a, this is an awesome event for you, I imagine. What does it mean, though, six and six, coming to Shreveport, Louisiana, the walk-ons Independence Bowl? Were you excited? And, and, and you don't want to go six and seven now, do you? We're very excited to be here at the Independence Bowl. And like I said before, everybody talk about me. No, it's about our players. It's not about Odell Higgins. It's about the players in Florida State University. That's the thing. That, that's my concern. Make sure our players have a good time and they practice well and go out and perform well in the game. That's what it's about. Coach, uh, here in the back, Tim Owens with Channel 6 here in town. Um, talk to Southern Miss a little bit about it. You got a couple guys that, that didn't come to play on defense. You know, who are you expecting to kind of step in to kind of try to slow down Edo Smith? Well, we're, we're not expecting one person to try to do that. We're expecting everybody. Like I said before, we're a team. We play team defense, and we're going to play together. And, and we always say, Duran James would say this to you if you call him not, next man up. Hey, Coach, I guess this is for any of the guys up there, but Cam Akers has been so successful for you all this season as a freshman. Just wondering, what has he shown you all as a true freshman that's really impressed you so far this season? Uh, you know, uh, me playing beside Cam all year, you know, you know, I've seen his growth, you know, been a tremendous kid since he stepped on campus. And, you know, it's um, been a blessing, you know, to be playing with him. And um, I just, you know, like I said, going back to touching on it, I've seen his growth, you know, from day one. You know, you know, seeing some of you know, the freshman uh, runs he had early on in the year, now he's making, you know, grown man runs. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's, it's really nice to see the, you know, the growth of that young man. He got a bright future ahead of him. Coach, over here to your right. Um, a lot of young guys on, on offense. How important do you think this bowl game can be, you know, moving forward for those kids? Well, hey, I'll tell you this, right? We've had extra practice, 12 extra practice, so the guys can get experience. And, and it's, it's going to be big for some of the young guys to go out there and play. But a lot of our guys, we played in a lot of big games, and the guys played a lot of football. So therefore, you know, every little bit help going into the next season when you're practicing, preparing is just like a another pre another preseason practice. You 12 to 13 practices. It's going to help them. Uh, Brian, uh, just, when you look at Southern Miss's offense on film, what do they look like? Do they remind you of, of anybody that you've seen in your career? Um, their offense is uh, a little bit like a um, Louisville. I mean, they do a lot of RPOs, a lot of um, read options, and and things like that. They use their quarterback and their running back a lot as far as trying to mess with our eyes. But um, as long as we stay disciplined, we shouldn't have any problems. Any more questions? Uh, Levante, um, the conditions are going to be pretty cold tomorrow. I was just curious, does it remind you back in your high school days, and what were some of the worst weather conditions you might have played in in high school? Um, the, the weather is not a problem. Uh, I'm used to it, and I'm sure other guys are used to it by traveling a lot uh, back from like back in football camps and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, when you go out there and play football, the weather is not a concern. Last questions for Alec. Um, you guys have played a, some really big bowl games in the past. Um, what are some things you guys have done this week here, and uh, what has this experience been like for you guys so far? Well, you know, anytime you get a chance to go to a bowl game, you know, it's a huge opportunity to, um, like Coach Odell said, to get some extra practices in, you know, prepare. Uh, you know, the chance to come to this bowl game after having the season that we had, you know, we had the ups and downs, the, uh, the adversity we faced. Um, you know, it's, a, it's, it's awesome, you know, to get this team to have another chance to play together because, you know, a team has a one-year life expectancy, and after this game, this team will never be the same, whether it's coaches, players, you never know who's going to be here. And so for us to have this chance to play this game again, 
here. It's huge, you know, we're having a good time. Um, uh, I love it here, honestly. It's been, like, like Coach said, great hospitality. They're taking care of us, and the guys are having fun, and they're getting, we're going to get their job done. So, I mean, like I said, another chance to play. One more game with this team is huge, and you know, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, Jacquez, uh, I know uh, Coach Taggart's going to be at the game. Um, you guys have been able to practice in front of him, but are, are you all excited to <laughs> play a game with, with him being in, in attendance and kind of show him what you can do and sort of use it as a, a springboard into next year? Um, uh, Coach Taggart's been around uh, throughout the practices, you know, bowl practices. So, you know, um, he's had the opportunity to see everybody, you know, evaluate everybody, if that's what you're asking. Yeah, um, yeah, it's going to be exciting, you know, to go out there and you know, put on a show for, you know, our, um, the new guy for us. Yeah, um, but we're going to go out there and uh, hopefully get this W you know, for him and start, you know, spread, like I said, get, get a um, momentum going into next year. Hey, guys, uh, back here. This is open to all of you. What's been the most challenging part of still having to prepare for one more game while going through all of these changes and such? I am okay. Well, not trying to be sarcastic. We've moved forward. <laughs> We're putting the challenges behind us. So that question right there, not, not – you, you know, trying to dodge a question. We're having fun as a family, as a group, and as players, and as a universe. We're moving forward. Yep. Coach, to follow that though, how have the guys that have stepped in and coaching roles helped you with other guys moving on? Excuse me? How have the other guys that have stepped into like the running back role and helping out, Jerry Johnson helping you out, how have they helped with the transition with handling the last couple weeks of practice? It has been tremendous. Uh, Mike Warren, Running back special team, he has done done an outstanding job. Spurlock, tight end coach, has done an outstanding job. Jerry Johnson, defensive tackle coach, why have I been taking another role? At the, the guys, they've done an outstanding job. And 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 I tell you, I, the guys, they, they're really loving it because they're pushing them. It seems like they haven't missed anything, but the guys are loving it. And I go around and ask questions, they're pushing them hard. They're doing a great job. Uh, any of the players that want to step up and answer this, you know, Coach Hagens has, has said it's not about him, but, you know, he played at Florida State. He's been a coach there his entire adult life. What has he been like for you guys, you know, during this transition? Uh, coach Hagens has been like a father figure to us. Uh, you know, it's been a, a rough season. Uh, so, like I said, he's been a father figure to everyone on this team by just uh, building the program back up <clears throat> with everybody and building our momentum back up, uh, you know, like I said, it would have been a rough season, but since he came in and stepped in, you know, everybody is, is head over heels, and we're just ready to go out there and fight for him. Uh, Brian, what would a win kind of do for you guys moving forward here <clears throat> after what the season was supposed to be, I guess, and, and how it kind of transpired? Um, basically, I mean, a win is a win, but, uh, you know, going through this season, it's just going to show our character, our determination to uh, finish the season strong, you know. We uh, had a lot of a lot of problems, a lot of injuries, and everything that we have to deal with. But just you know, winning those last couple of games become bowl eligible, and now we're here. I mean, there's there's no there's no option to leave without a, without a win after everything we went through. So, I mean, we just have to dig down deep and, and get it done. I guess Jacquez, to uh, for you and your teammates, what has this week kind of been like, and, and wanting to kind of finish this mission that you kind of have here? What has that been like for you and your teammates? Oh, uh, this 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 right this bowl game right here just you know shows you know determination we had you know no matter the circumstances that we, you know the cards we dealt with this year you know you know everything happened to us possibly as a team and um, you know, I'm glad you know these guys you know stood up and fought you know what I'm saying that even have this opportunity to play in the bowl game you know most people you know think we're just gonna come out here you know lay down because it's the you know uh, Independence Bowl but you know uh, that's not how it is you know what I'm saying we got a great coach you know we're gonna step there for us you know we got players that that's energized and, you know we're gonna go out there and, and, and hopefully get a victory tomorrow. Coach Higgins, uh, I guess here's the question. You're at six and six. You've got a lot of, of stuff on the line. Streaks, winning streaks, bowl appearances. What does this game really mean to you? And, and speak to those streaks, by the way. Well, this game to me, it means a lot for the players. It means a lot for the university. And also myself. But <clears throat> the thing about it, you 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 just said something about the winning streaks and all that. I haven't even thought about it. My main concern has been about these guys right here, the whole team, and they'll tell you that in the university. But hey, we're gonna go out. We practice well for eleven practices. We got one more, and we're gonna go out and give it all we got. I tell you that.
Brian, uh, what have you seen out of uh, Kando and Willikerson and some of those guys who are probably getting maybe a little bit more reps now with the first team uh, during the ball practices, and what do you expect from them in this game? Um, honestly, I've been seeing the same thing I've seen all year. They all they always work hard. Um, they're a lot. I can say they're a lot. They're a lot more tuned in since um, you know Sweat won't be uh, playing with us today. I mean tomorrow. But um, other than that, they've been locked in this whole year. They've been growing ever since we started this thing. And um, I mean, it's just hard work because that's just how they are. And um, I'm glad to to have them on, on my side. You know what I mean? But uh, at the end of the day, I think they're ready. You got it. Uh, Odell, you've got a, a handful of seniors, a handful of fifth-year seniors like Nate and Ryan Green. They'll be playing in their last game. Can you s speak to their contributions over the last several years and, and sort of what they mean to the program and what it would mean to send them out with a win? Yeah. Oh, Nate and Ryan Green. The last game, Ryan, he got in there. He showed a lot of character. And, you know, we had the team blown up, you know, and he went in there, carried the ball, trying to get in the end zone. He did a great job. And Nate has been a leader. Nate last year and a half he's been injury prone but now he's healthy and and I tell you that guy coming here as a freshman he made a lot of big plays for us in 2013 without him we probably wouldn't have won the national championship but that young man man he stayed there for us and uh, the young guys helped Levante out helped the young Hamster out just coaching them up getting them ready and I take my hat off to those guys the seniors and you know, hey, and I, and I, t and I'm telling the rest of our team, it's all about the seniors. Also, we want to have a good time, but we want to go out and play well for the seniors.